Hey guys, it's Kay from KS Anonymous and I am back today with another episode of r slash anti-MLM. Happy Monday! Did you know? 95% of people who get involved in network marketing take very little action or quit too soon so they have little to no success and therefore people say it's a scam. 95% of people who play sports never make it professionally. 95% of people who can sing never get signed to a deal. 95% of bloggers slash influencers don't become six or seven figure earners. 95% of working people that I've known have never earned a six figure income or even enough to avoid living paycheck to paycheck. So what is the real scam? The opportunity or is it you? Become part of the 5% in whatever you do. Don't buy into your own excuses. Don't play the blame game and stop measuring your potential based on the failures of others. You can do anything. So own it and do it. These photos are all moments created by me not blaming anyone or anything else and refusing to listen to the excuse reel in my head. Not being afraid to show up. I have nothing in me that you don't also have except the desire to try and go for it. And the fact I picked up a unicorn company who's doing everything right. We have three months left in this decade. This decade! Who else wants to go for it? I've got crazy end of the decade deals to help! Ugh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, you know what? Just let this, let's let this lovely Redditor help us out. 95% of people who play sports never go pro which is why the training programs promising that they can make any kid a pro are a scam. 95% of people who can sing never get signed to a deal, which is why agents who convince musicians to pay exorbitant amounts for demos and promise to get them to music label bigwigs are a scam. 95% of people who start blogs never make huge amounts of money, which is why online how to monetize your blog seminars are a scam. And 99% of people in MLMs never even make minimum wage, which is why Huns are enticing people with quit your job and work from home are a scam. I 100% could not put that any better. Kudos to you. That is such a jerk kind of thing to do. Like, um, <laughs> You're not making like a lot of money on like being amazing and it's just like you didn't want it enough. <laughs> like okay, I'm sorry that 95% of people in your world um just don't want it enough. <laughs> you make me so mad. And that's just one of those things that they do a lot in MLMs is like, well, why are all these people failing? Oh, they just didn't want it enough. Oh, they just didn't try hard enough. Like no, you you're in a literal failing system. You are literally set up to fail. That's why they're failing. Not because they didn't want it enough or work their business enough. Because they are literally set up to fail. Hi Blank, I've invited you to a super fun Facebook Tupperware party. It will last five days and have multiple opportunities to win free Tupperware from my director. I hope you can join me. Just click on the link below and select going to be entered into the drawings. Yeah, I'm not the one who put the blank there. <laughs> she she copy pasted it and forgot to fill in the blank with the person she's supposed to be inviting's name. <sighs> if you're gonna copy paste, at least at least remember that part. I mean it's obvious that you're copy pasting this to everybody, but at least put in the little bit of effort that it takes to <laughs> type in a name and just no? Okay. Hi, I would love to know why you think this is a pyramid scheme. I'm just an average girl educating people about toxic chemicals and helping people bring cleaner products in their home. That's all. Take care. Probably because one, a quick Google search for Young Living presented me with a pretty sidebar of similar MLM organizations. The government acknowledges MLM as pyramid schemes. Source Consumer FTC Gov. Number two, May 1st, Young Living was in a class action lawsuit for being a quote, cult like pyramid scheme. Source TruthinAdvertising.org. 
Number three, your products are both toxic as well as unethical. As in 2018, Young Living was found guilty for violating the Lacey and Endangered Species Act for illegally harvested, processed, and transported rosewood, source justice.gov. Just an average girl trying to keep my friends from investing in scams and unethical products. Have a day as pleasant as you are. <laughs> I love how they just like posted all their sources too, just to be like, you know what, at least I can back up the claims that I'm making, just saying. And recently I've been seeing a lot, I don't know, I think I went down the rabbit hole one time about the whole thieves cleaner because I have a Facebook friend who is just like, I clean my whole house with thieves and actually told one of our friends um, that she should change from using bleach to using thieves um so i had looked into it before but recently it's been making its way i think it ended up on anti-mlm as well where people <laughs> put undiluted thieves to the test which you're supposed to dilute it when you use it as a cleaner anyway from my understanding um and it it does basically nothing in a lot of the situations so yeah not sure why i went on that tangent i think it was young living yeah LuLaRoe 357-piece lot, Disney leggings, and much more. Selling for $3,500 was $18,000. LuLaRoe 357-piece lot, highly sought after, super rare prints that your customers will fight for. My loss is your gain, $18,000 plus in inventory, brand new with tags, lots of gorgeous fall prints. First of all, I find it kind of depressing that this person actually has $18,000 worth of LuLaRoe um, inventory and that she has to sell it for a fraction of the amount that it's supposedly worth. I'm hoping that's the amount that it's supposed to be worth and not how much she's paid for it. When she says my loss is your gain, I'm seriously wondering if she's got like $18,000 sunk into this. That's really depressing if that's the case. Also, what happened to the customers, her customers, um, fighting for those super rare prints? Because, uh, apparently, apparently they didn't, because, because you still have them, so. Invite creativity and feelings of happiness in your children's play areas by diffusing orange. Add some zest to your cleaning regimen by adding a few drops of orange to your thieves household cleaner. Target oily areas of your skin by applying orange topically. Get a free bottle of orange with a 190 PV order this month. I love using orange. I even put a drop or two in my coffee, love it in cold water, and in the diffuser. Liquid sunshine! <sighs> First of all, um, y'all need to teach your oil people because way before I understood about all these things and the fact that you shouldn't put oils directly on your skin without diluting it, <laughs> we had a whole lice problem going around and so... We were using tea tree oil and I bought some random crap from the store and mixed it in a bottle and sprayed it all over my hair or whatever uh, because that's what people told me to do. Well, this Young Living rep was nice enough at least to just give me a free sample or whatever and they acknowledged that it was expensive to buy the whole bottle so they're just like, well, I have some, here's some for you. Like they weren't trying to really push it because they're like, yeah, it's really expensive and they knew I didn't really have any money at the time. <laughs> so, I mean, like, in that in that situation, it's not like they were just like, buy my stuff. They just thought that they were being helpful, right? Well, I literally could feel, <laughs> I could feel my, like, sinuses almost burning from putting a little dab on, like, um, little parts of my hairline uh, because I thought that was what I was supposed to do. Like, I could feel, like, things in my ears doing things. <laughs> just from how intense that tiny little dabble was like on my head so i mean the good news is pretty sure i deterred lice and literally every other living thing uh, from my head however um 
yeah, I put that directly on my skin without understanding that. And she didn't tell me that I needed to do anything other than put it directly on my skin. I've actually seen her, <laughs> same girl, um, post on Facebook that sh you should put the lemon oil directly in a glass of water in the morning. Like, Young Living is not teaching their distributors or whatever the crap they are uh, not to <laughs> ingest these oils. <laughs> and if they do, like, not like this not like this for example <laughs> i get that you technically can use like oregano or whatever i think it was basil oregano i don't know they used two drops i think to strongly flavor a giant pot of spaghetti so why are you putting one drop in a tiny little glass of water like, that cannot be good for you. You're not really supposed to ingest this stuff. And here they're over here just telling you to do this, uh, to apply it orange topically. Not saying, hey, you should use a carrier oil or whatever it's called or dilute it or whatever. I'm I'm learning, okay? <laughs> I'm trying to learn. Uh, so that's not, not a good idea. Just making your household cleaner smell better that you've made with thieves. That's probably not actually doing what you think it's doing. I, I guess do whatever you want. But then this person's like, yeah, I put a drop or two in my coffee and in cold water. Like, what are you guys doing? Oh my god. Oh, your insides must be not happy with you. Anyway, I think that's going to have to wrap it up for us today in this video. I hope that you enjoyed watching, listening, or whatnot. If you did, go ahead and drop a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And, uh, Real quick, I would like to thank my patrons. On the screen, you should see my face palmers and my crazy Ks. Thank you all so much for supporting me in this way. And thank you all for being here as viewers and subscribers. All of y'all are so awesome. Thank you for being here. And uh, I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!